because there's a lot of people that want to know about this. <clears throat> and that is, this is what I send to people about the baptism. All right. So let me read this to you. And when I'm talking about the video, it's this video right here. All right. It's bride time. Is your garment clean and white? And we had our brother Richard, uh, uh, the pastor Richard here, that put this together. So you guys can find that video. Um, let me show you. All right. I want to just share it with you because so you guys will know where it is and, and what it looks like. It's this video right here. All right. The Lord reaching down in the water. So let me read what I send to people. So here, <laughs> here's what I send to brothers and sisters. It's based on situations for each, whether they have a church or at least a baptized believer that can do it. And finally, as a last resort, self-baptizing. I know the last one doesn't sound right, but I can assure you in these circumstances and the Lord knowing your heart, it can be done. See the testimony below that came from a sister last year who did it herself. This is from Sister Renee. This is what she sent me, by the way. This is the email that came from her, this portion here. She says, after watching the video you had on baptism for the remission of sins in Jesus' name, I instantly had a feeling I needed to be baptized. Being that I am alone now, I baptized myself. The Holy Spirit then guided me. I felt the Spirit and fell to my knees and asked the Lord for forgiveness of all my sins and prayed for a while. Then I went to my sink, filled three glasses of water, and poured them over my head as I prayed, Dear Lord, I baptize myself with you as my witness for the remission of sins in the name of Jesus Christ. I instantly felt a tingling through my whole body. I walked over to my door and looked up to the sky. I started to speak in tongues, which I have never done. It was uncontrollable, and even if I would try to st I stop it, I couldn't. I began to shake and cry uncontrollably. I felt this for a long time. Then a feeling of peace fell over me. This was from Sister Renee. You see, brothers and sisters, it's not that we say everybody should be self-baptizing. It's that we're in a situation in the world right now and churches and the persecution in the church of trying to open and, and churches in many cases, not even you say, I want to be baptized. They say, well, come back on uh, May 27th at 4 p.m. And we'll what? They don't all do that, but most do. All right. You can't be waiting for that. You don't know what tomorrow holds. We want to be baptized right away. And in many cases, churches aren't even open. In many cases, you can't go to a friend if you're alone. And that friend, maybe they're not even baptized. So you don't want to have them baptize you. You need somebody baptized in Christ to baptize you. But if you don't have it, and we're in this limited situation now, you see, if the Lord knows your heart and he knows you're desiring it, he knows you want to be baptized. He knows that you don't really have this option easily available to you. If you do it with the right heart and the right spirit within, he will hear you. All right. This was the evidence for me. I had prayed that the Lord would let me understand that it was possible for people in the right heart and in the right spirit to baptize themselves. And this was the email that I received about it. All right. So it validates that it's possible done in the right spirit. This is the video that I say, and everybody in that video, by the way, you can skip the first 30 minutes and go to when we start talking about baptisms, which is when you would see this like 32 minutes in. All right. And so here's the info I say about the baptism that I sent to people that ask. I would say if you have someone nearby who's Christian to have them baptize you, but if not, then do this to yourself first after you do then baptize your family, okay? For those that may have family uh, in their home as well. Fill the tub, preferable, or start the shower. Don't treat it like a shower or bath, but be dressed in a t-shirt or shorts or whatever works for you. Then do one of these to yourself and repeat to your for your family. 
Again, do not treat this as a bath or shower. Wear shorts or a t-shirt, for example. Once the water is ready, proclaim you believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior with all your heart and say, I repent and in Jesus Christ's name, I am being baptized for the remission of sins. Then dunk under the water or get in the shower and get all wet. Then come out from the water and say to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Then turn off the water if the shower, get out and you're done, dry off. Say it with all the love you have for him and he will hear and receive you. And then I said, um, when you do it for your family members, they can dunk underwater and so on and so forth. Now, again, you would repeat that for your family members. Now, we also had people that were in parts of the world where water wasn't easy, okay? Where water, they, they don't turn it on except for every two or three days, sometimes maybe even a week, I think. So to be able to just get in the water isn't the easiest thing either. So if you have bottled water, then pour a small bottle of water or a glass of water and pour it all over yourself. Pour it from the top of your head and let it come down. All right. The Lord knows your situation if it's not possible any other way. All right. But do it in the right heart. Do it in the right spirit. Doing it in Jesus Christ's name for your love for him and you will be received. You see, don't put it off. Don't think I don't have to do this. I showed you Gentile. I showed you Jew. We are both to be baptized as Acts 2.38 right now. Until the time of the escape of the bride. That is the baptism. And it always will be until the Lord has returned feet down. That is the baptism. You following brothers and sisters? Please don't let this. Don't, don't let something of like the baptism that in your declaration for the Lord that you just say, ah, I don't need it. It's not for me. Why not? It was good for everybody else in Scripture. Don't delay. Get baptized.